Today I'm going to be replacing my Honeywell V8043E1012 zone valve. Take off the cover. There's a screw right here that I will undo and I'm just going to be replacing the motor. Remove the screw. After the screw is removed, we will twist the motor and pull it out. Next I will replace my yellow and green wire. Next I will replace my orange and blue. This will be removing the old motor. So I should be able to pull that away. There's the old one. And I will connect the orange one to the blue. And tighten that up so it's nice and tight. And I'll put the motor in the upright position. Put it in the hole, spin it back into position, and screw it in. Tighten the screw down. Make sure all these wires are in tightly, just in case there was something else causing the fault. Tuck these back in. After these are all tucked back in, the cover back on and that took all of less than five minutes after replacing the cap on I will go inside turn the power on and then make sure that I turn the thermostat up um, about 10 degrees higher than what the temperature is um, this zone valve motor should kick in and we'll see 